you've said before the way we produce light internally, right? This is a, a very major feature of mammals, maybe other organisms. As everything well. alive. Everything alive. So, and you were talking earlier about how the sun is structuring water, basically infusing it with energy and information, telling it what to do. Mm-hmm. So this is that like cosmic decentralized network. You're saying, th- th- maybe these are fractal layers, right? They the way are. this sun is telling us what to do, we have little mini suns being produced inside of us that are telling this what to do. Presumably, the black hole at the heart of the Milky Way galaxy is maybe telling the sun what to do through some other wave interaction we don't understand yet. So that, I mean, going deep on this idea of fractal layers, that's how you see it. It's like, Everything's even the connected. word universe means one song, right? So it's one cosmic symphony of electromagnetism. Yeah. And, and you have to realize that what connects the whole is light. Remember, light has unlimited range and power. Yeah. The photon is... And even matter is light, by the way, right? Yeah. It's a low frequency well, or frozen light. We learned that in 1905 exactly. from Einstein. Yeah. Energy, look, the mass equivalence equation yes. plays a huge role here because when you look at E and you look at M, right. they're exactly the same thing. But what does Einstein put the C2 in Speed for? Of light squared. But he's telling you that the environment yeah. that the energy and mass in determines the reality we get. Between them. Wow. And... When you think about it like and that, so you, all of this, we're still catching up with that from 1905. Oh yeah, we still well, no, we still don't even understand. Like in medicine, yeah, we still don't fundamentally understand right that concept. Let me let me tell you just how broken this is. If you want to break the fractal down, which will really get us into probably an interesting discussion, um, let's talk about what 1905 really did to uncover the farce that's at the base of centralized medicine. Anybody who's a scientist, and even a non-scientist, knows that we study things in medicine based on something called the randomized control clinical trial. That's the basis of the scientific method. What does, in that wrapped in that Tootsie Roll, what does that really mean? It means that we could take a huge powered number, get it down, and try to extract the information out of that. That's a cause and effect idea okay that's based on a newtonian version of reality 1905 told us that time is relative if time is relative what does that also mean there's no cause and effect we experience cause and effect as humans but that doesn't mean that it's true it's just our perception of reality and i just told you the electromagnetic spectrum 73 octaves We're blind to 72 of the octaves, but yet we're using Newtonian physics to study the biggest questions that humanity has now in chronic diseases. So when you think about what I'm saying to you, and you think about what I said to Rick Rubin and Huberman, you know, 18 months ago, when I said most of what's in our textbooks is bullshit, now you understand clearly why I'm saying it, because guess what? We're blind to most of the problems, and we're studying things, utilizing physics that's not even true. So this is, this is an, a change in ontology or a change in cosmology, like it runs that deep, basically. Oh, it, I, think, I think the problems in medicine are humongous, but the problem is that this discussion that I'm having with you is so fundamental to the scientific method. Like, people really don't understand truly what Einstein's relativity and mass equivalence really underpins. And if there's no cause and effect, everything is a probability. Yeah. Who proved that beyond a shadow of a doubt? That's Heisenberg, Werner Heisenberg, yeah. the uncertainty yeah. principle. Yeah. So when you actually see this, say you embrace this, yeah. then you have to come immediately as a biologist or a neurosurgeon and say to yourself, as I did 20 years ago, when I went through my notebook that I told you about, that I challenged my beliefs, well, if things aren't based on cause and effect, why do I believe everything is based on a randomized controlled clinical trial? Maybe I need to start to question that. Amazing. And that's what I did. So, okay. What is it we can then learn perhaps from ancient wisdom? Genesis, Adam and Eve. These were pre-scientific age cosmologies. Is there wisdom in there about your thesis about everything being light? Every, obviously, God said, let there be light. Fiat Lux, we touched on that. But 
are there other um, indications in ancient wisdom traditions that lend themselves to support your view of the world? Yeah, I think Genesis, the Old Testament, uh, tells you that light is the key. It doesn't give you the recipe. Our job as humanity is to figure out that recipe. The story of Adam and Eve is actually centralization and decentralization. Okay. It's actually good and evil. You have to embrace the suck. If you don't embrace the suck, you'll never get to the point of why life matters and why time matters. Um, if you focus in on too much on the good, you, you lose the benefit of the bad. And the way I like to look at this is the light of the day is probably the good of things in life. The darkness at night, we think of probably as Satan, as heaven and hell, but you can never understand the light without the darkness. If you don't believe me, go outside and look up and see Orion. Yeah. You can't see Orion right now. It's what, nine o'clock in the morning here in El Salvador. But you know, when we finish tonight, we're gonna be able to go out and see that. And what does that tell you? That there's a benefit to the darkness. So well, the key in, is intelligibility requires that contrast, right? Otherwise it's not well, you can't it, perceive up without down. Well, it does, like but I want to get to the, the greater point that you asked me about because I don't want to lose this. Organized religion, things in the Old and New Testament are like supplements. They're half-truths. There's always an, a kernel of truth in them, but it's our job to decide what's true and what's superfluous. What's the via negativa? So you and I had a discussion before we started filming about your need for supplements and neurotropics before you started this. And I told you that the discussion that we have, if it's good, you won't need any of those things because you'll be stimulated by the bio photons between both of us. And you know, you're chuckling now, but I think you're beginning to understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. Not only do I say it to you as a metaphor for the audience to understand this, but actually it goes to E equals MC squared that there is energy and information in the light that we're sharing that actually can elevate or detract from the interaction between Robert and Jack. Right. And I want the audience, even though they have an ambient awareness of this interaction between us, they're still getting a collision, a Compton scattering sure, sure. of this event. And I want them to understand that the same thing is true with the Compton scattering. I mean, the visual that came up for me, there was the particle accelerator images. Yeah. So that's what you're saying is the two fields are interacting. Right. And then, you get the a lot of effect. Yeah, a lot of nonverbal communication and not there's there there's always information that comes from the primaries. Right. That's the interaction between light and water. Right, right, right. Okay. And we think about life in centralized medicine begins and ends with RNA and DNA. And it turns out it's actually not. It's actually the other genome in the body that's the most important that deals with energy transformation, which is the mitochondria. DNA and RNA don't deal with energy transformation. They actually yes. deal with a very interesting part. They're the antenna that actually connects us to the hole that you asked about before. The wireless system. Right. If you enjoyed this clip, click here for the full episode and here for more just like it. Also like this video to help shine light on the corruption of money and subscribe to stay connected. Thank you.